Fran here from Cape Cacao. The water element is often associated with the moon and that obviously affects the tides. Now the tides all around the world, they ebb and they flow. We have our high tides and our low tides, our neap tides, and this is all because of the moon. When the moon is in her fullest or in her darkest, we have the spring where the tides are pretty extreme, high highs and low lows, and then when the moon is in her waxing or waning, then we have our neap tides, where there's a low high and a high low, so not too much difference. And this shows us that just like the water element that is affected by the moon, so is the water element inside us. We are 70% roughly of water, and so of course we are going to be affected. How are we affected? Often it's through our emotions. And um, I know many people, myself included, that will often be quite affected around the new moon and the full moon because this is when the actual tides in on the earth, as well as the water element within us, is at its most extremes. So just something to think about next time you are navigating through some challenging emotions. Maybe check in with what phase the moon is in. Um, women that are connected into their menstrual cycle will obviously know quite a bit about this as well how the water element, our hormones, and the cycles are all linked up in the sky and in our bodies.